Hi, I'm John with CodeVA, and this is a quick tutorial on sound output using the Microbit microcontroller. Uh, so let's get right into it. I've got my Microbit right here, and I'm going to do some sound output with the speaker. Now, um, I'm going to do my best to help you hear it, but you know, it's, it's a little quiet. So you might just have to try this stuff out on your own, depending on how loud you want your volume to be. Um, so to do sound output through the Microbit's tiny little speaker, um, you can go into music and, oh, well, first let me get an, an event block here. Let's do it on start. Uh, we'll go into music and then we'll do play melody. Uh, play melody is kind of one of the more complicated blocks. Uh, so just gonna start with that. If you click here, what's get, what you get is this editor and you can make little tunes. Um, and you can't hear that right now, but uh, you know, if, if you hit play, it lets you audition it, which is kind of nice. And then uh, when it's finished, um, well, when, you, when you're done, when you know uh, what you've got uh, and you like it, uh, we can go ahead and download this and put it on our micro bit. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my uh, editor, uh, my, my files, I mean, I'll hit download, get my file all situated. There's my sound output. Uh, oh, there goes my camera. We're back, no problem. Uh, and then drag microbit sound output. Now, once that finishes uploading and that yellow light stops blinking, we'll be able to uh, hear our sound. Hopefully, you might be able to hear it. Yeah, huh. us. That's okay. Uh, and if, <laughs> you know, it's it's a tiny little speaker. It's not even really like you can't easily play uh, like audio files or anything like that uh, but that, that was my uh, my little melody there and if you change up the melody it'll it'll sound different um, let me try another one we'll do on start and let's go into this one so this is gonna play like like a sound effect which is kind of cool um, we'll do we get we get a little bit of control over that. Um, you can even like generate similar sounds and get uh, some different uh, some different things. We'll make this uh, like pretty fast sound. All right, so uh, I just crafted my own custom sound. It's kind of interesting, um, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go over to my files. I'm gonna actually like delete this file first. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. I had to sneeze. Okay, um, so this is the old one. I'm just gonna throw it in the trash so we don't get mixed up. Go over to the download button, hit download, and then we'll get our file out here and drag the file over the micro bit. Wait for that yellow light to stop blinking and then we'll get our sound. Yeah, just a little chirp. Kind of cool. I highly recommend using the simulator to do a lot of this trial and error stuff because it's just a lot faster. Um, my my video recording just isn't set up for that right now. So um, anyway, uh, music stuff. There's some good options in there. Um, a lot of these work kind of the same way. There are a couple of interesting uh, interesting things to try. There's like this tone middle C, which just plays one note instead of playing a melody. Um, there's a, a ringtone. Uh, which is just like a drone that will play until you stop all sounds. Let's I'll actually show you that. Um, we'll use some some other event blocks. We'll do ring tone on middle C, uh, and then when I press the A button, we'll stop all sounds. So we get a, it's an interesting interaction here. Using the um, the button presses and other events to do different sounds is is usually a pretty pretty good idea. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get all my files situated. We got my my old file up. I'm going to go ahead and throw that away. Download the new version. Grab that file and put it on the micro bit. And then once it finishes uploading, it's going to automatically start ringing that tone 
and then it'll it'll as soon as I press the A button, the micro bit will stop all the sounds, uh, and yeah, so that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Pretty quiet, I think you can hear that. Uh, and then if I hit A, stops all the sounds. Lots of interesting things to do. I'm just barely scratching the surface here. Um, so definitely go and try looking at some different uh, blocks for using music, uh, some experiment with combining them, chain some of the music blocks together, see what you can create. Uh, if you have any questions, you'd run into any problems, please get in the comments of this video. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, there's also links in the description to more resources if you're interested in uh, experimenting, figuring out how to combine some of these ideas to create your own complex creations. Uh, so reach out if you have any help, or if you need any help rather. Uh, otherwise, good luck and happy coding.